So in this video, I really wanted to show uh, the rigging that I did for this. This was uh, done totally for the contest. No other reason. Um, it was a good challenge to do all this rigging. This took for the 30 seconds or whatever it has in the beginning of the, the animation. It, it took a lot uh, to rig it up, but you can see how I did this was photo P. Um, I found this on the internet, trimmed it up, uh, and then brought it in, saved it as a PSD, and brought it into Cartoon Animator, uh, the pipeline version. But you can see I'm layering, layering all this out, so you can export all the layers and bring them into uh, the Pro version. And here you can see why I did those uh, crosses everywhere at the joints. So it was easy to start the bones off. And here I'm doing all the different bones for the legs. This, this is a super easy tool, cartoon animator. It just makes this so easy to move. So now I'm just doing the, uh, the short animation that, that the walking that this does. that many legs yeah. it, was, it was a bit of a challenge you can see it took me a while here i'm sure i could have cut this for you but i wanted to make sure you saw um that this is a challenge it's it's not just always straightforward when you want really good detail uh cartoon animator does this really well very easy but complex rigs like this actually take time to do um, and the movements for complex rigs like this take time to do as well. So once I got this move, I was able to uh, save this as a perform move. And you'll see I, I do that here. And then I just reused it a couple of times on my final animation. Um, I'm sure I could have done a better job. Um, but I wanted to get this out there in time for the... Uh, the end of the contest so uh and here i just took uh some existing characters and re re uh did some of the sprites uh this tool this 360 head tool i love as well um you can do it in, in uh, small detail or very fine detail like i'm doing here there's lots of tools within this product to do the uh, deforming uh, for the each angle for the sprite. So it's all the same sprites. I'm just deforming them, uh, moving them around on each little angle. Super simple to do. It, it, it takes a bit of time, but it looks really good in the end. Super simple. So I had uh, three characters in this that all had to be adjusted. Um, three different clothing. The beach guy here and then the backpacker guy. And I had a front view of the backpacker and then a side view. So I had to do this to all three of them. But in the end, they look pretty good. I like them. And here I'm actually showing I had a, I don't know, four of these uh, carry cases in the end. I had uh, the initial one he's carrying. So that's a hand, an actual extra uh, carrying case with his hand, a hand sprite on there added onto the rig. Um, so and I had to get it dropped properly. So uh, that's what I was showing there. And I wanted the camera swoop. I wanted everything done in Cartoon Animator. So this shows you all the camera uh, movements are all done in Cartoon Animator. Uh, I could have done these in separate shots. Uh, but I wanted to swoop in and actually get it on the monitor and have that whole action. So that's why you see it here. And I'm just adding all the uh, different motions to these characters. Uh, some of the monitor imagery. Uh, all these, there's, there's a whole bunch of uh, motions that come with this that are fairly good to start with. Uh, I usually tweak the motions, as you can see here. Uh, I probably could have been 
did a bit better on the dog. Again, I, I was trying to get this in for uh, the end of the contest. So here in the last shot, I wanted to have the cat in, in here. Um, so I had to actually duplicate this and I'm using code of B here again to uh, cut out the uh, center of this prop. And then I'm gonna sandwich the cat in between this one and the original prop. Again, super easy. This is all done right out of uh, Cartoon Animator. I just launch Photo P straight from Cartoon Animator and just save it, and it comes right back. And then I save these props and I can just reuse them. Uh, here again, I wanted to show you how much messing around it took just to get the angles right, get them all matched up. I, I'm sure there's a better way. Uh, a little while but here's a cat i wanted to get sandwiched in between those two and i think that ended up looking uh, quite well in the final video there there he is and these fish they're not high definite definition fish but i just grabbed those off the internet as well um they didn't need to be high definition because they're going to be behind uh, here but i've rigged these up and that again there was some luckily some uh, pre-made mo uh, motions here with for fish so I just use those and I, I tweak them I took the time to tweak each one of them but I wanted to have a complete scene here this is a, a Gary Pie do-it-yourself scene awesome to start with and I wanted to show you how much messing around with uh, the fish I had to do here this guy just wouldn't want to swim properly I, I'm, I'm sure I had my root all wrong. That was a problem. You know, the root bone's all wrong. The pivot point's just not right. Uh, but in the end, it did the job. Um, yeah, and, and I'm just finishing it off here uh, with some of the, the camper camp imagery. And that's about it. Uh, then it all comes together with some uh, great camera moves that... Uh, I can do it in Cartoon Animator, and uh, thank you very much for watching this. It was fun.